Hello everyone and welcome to our brief tutorial on how to prevent your song from looping. So we get a lot of questions about uh, why does my song continue to play past the designated ending? So what that means is once the song hits the end, it's going back to the beginning and starting the song all over again. There's a couple of things that you can check to make sure that uh, it's not going to loop for you. And the first one would be just checking how many choruses you have set in the program. So this is the section where you check to see where your start, end, and choruses is set. This third number here will be how many times your chord sheet is going to repeat from start to end. So I have it set to one. That means that it should only play through the entire chord sheet once. But if you have a song that uh, you want it to play two or three times, maybe more than that, you can set that. But once it reaches the end, it shouldn't go back to the beginning. If it does, you'll want to check your settings under the loop button. So if you click this button here, um, you should have never loop entire song checked. By default, the loop of entire song enabled is set. So you'll just want to change that to never loop entire song. If you're using the classic interface, your view of band in a box, the interface at the top here is going to look different. So if you ever need to toggle to the classic view, you can hit control and T as in Thomas on your keyboard, or you can go to window. So once you click on window, you can just go down to this option here that says full screen chord sheet view. And as you can see that shortcut we talked about control T is here. And then uh, it has a check against it, which means you're going to be seeing a larger view of your chord sheet. And once you click on that, that'll take you back to the classic interface and your chord sheet will shrink down a bit. So it's a little bit easier to see the start, end, and chorus here uh, because it's labeled. So you can check to see what your chorus is set to here. And the loop is also a bit more easy to identify. You will see by default, if you're in this interface, a check mark here. So I'll show you what that looks like. So that check mark, as you can see, is there. That's there by default. Uh, and I should correct what I said before that uh, always loop entire song is actually the one that is checked by default. It's not loop of entire song enabled. Um, so if you want to turn off the loop option, you'll just go to never loop entire song and that check mark will disappear. And that is how you stop your song from looping. Thanks for watching.